You guys better be getting ready for the absolutely insane bull run that we're about to happen. But where do we keep our attention peeled? Because there are so many different things happening right now and we need to be focusing in so we can make the very best of this opportunity. Now, in today's video, we are going to discuss what has just happened in the market that I think is going to be an absolutely huge catalyst. And guys, if you can just do me a quick favor and smash that like button, it's all I ask in return. And it really does help this channel get out to more people. So if you appreciate my content, I would appreciate a little like and let's jump into it. So we can see here we did have a massive sell off biggest outflow day since the start of February. Now we've been seeing these outflows, but the outflows have been engulfed by inflows over the last couple of weeks. But now we're seeing this turn. Now, this is not cause for panic, in my opinion. The reason this is happening is because last Wednesday, Genesis were approved to begin offloading their GBTC holdings, and we have seen $600 million in net in outflows from Grayscale since then. Genesis holds $1.3 billion in GBTC, so we're likely around one third of the way of absorbing these flows. So this is what is affecting Bitcoin's price and stopping it from going any higher. As we know, there is a lot of excitement around Bitcoin, but we have reached this resistance of around $52,000 and we cannot break it for any substantial amount of time. We are now trading between the range of 52,000 and 50,000, and these are the regions to be watching that I am personally watching closely. There is probably an opportunity to be trading between these as we reach the top and the bottom if you guys do want short term trades. So if you are looking for a place to short term trade, you can trade over on my there is no KYC, no personal details, and all of the links are down there in the description to get up to $10,000. But guys, we have also created our own algorithm here. This is called HG Algo, and this can help you both figure out when momentum is coming into this market and also when DCAing is a great opportunity. You can see here we had our indicator flash bullish momentum right here at the breakout of this wedge. It also flashed bearish momentum before for this pullback in the market. There is the other option to also look at DCAing. I personally like to DCA on longer term timeframes and we can see it working very nicely here, buying right here in the pits of the bear market. So we created this, me and my friends, and this is the way that we have been trading in these markets for years and we try to create something that could automate that experience. So if you wanna check out HG Algo, the link is in the description. Now, if we do look at Ethereum, right, the price did have our lovely breakout. As you know, I'm watching this very closely because I believe it's going to outperform Bitcoin in this bull market. So Ethereum is technically an altcoin, and I do believe that altcoins are going to have an absolutely monumental run. Why do I think that? Because that's just simply where the excitement and the money will flow. We have some wild news, rumors of an XRP ETF. Ripple's CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, believes there will, there will eventually be other funds to diversify risks from spot Bitcoin ETFs. Garlinghouse chipped in that creating multiple ETFs around different tokens is inevitable as they would further diversify the risk of trading in such investment vehicles. He added that some firms may even launch basket ETFs containing a collection of multiple crypto assets. And I don't think people understand how absolutely insane that will be. There most likely in the future will be ETFs that hold, for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, Solana, you name it, there might be an ETF for it that you can buy on the normal stock market. We've seen how absolutely insane the Bitcoin ETF has been so far. And imagine what would happen if we had altcoins in the same access for the wider institutional markets. I don't think it's going to happen in the short term, but I do think this is going to be another huge catalyst for us going into the future. With that said, I do also want to remind you that right now, Bitcoin is hovering over $50,000 and retail trading volume looks like this. Quarterly Coinbase retail trading volume in the billions. This right here is the peak of the bull market. The peak was $69,000 and right now, and right now the price is $52,000. We're only $15,000 off the old all-time high and yet retail is nowhere to be seen. We can see that here, crypto, search term over the last five years, nobody is paying attention. 
right? This is so exciting. And I don't think you guys are grasping how insane this is. Nobody is paying attention like they did back in the bull market. And we are only $15,000 away or $16,000 away from the old all-time high. Absolutely insane stuff. And what did we have just happen yesterday? We had NVIDIA's earning growth is one of the most insane things that most people have ever seen. Look at this earnings growth for NVIDIA, topping at over $12 billion, right? What does this mean for crypto? Well, there is a little niche within crypto, AI crypto, which I believe is probably going to be where we should be focusing a lot of attention. Now, I have a plan to create an AI portfolio on this channel. As you know, I have a number of portfolios that we watch, and I think not having an AI portfolio is absolutely ridiculous. We have our strong bounce. We have our DCA. Look at this DCA, 155%. We have our new cycle crypto. These are the ones that I think could do absolutely incredible and potentially grab a Cardano type move upwards. And I think it would be a good opportunity to add some AI crypto. So please let me know in the comment section which AI cryptos you guys are actually focusing on right now because I want to hear from you so we can discuss. And I did find this tweet here from Cora from Corleone here. And these are some very interesting 1 to 100x returns for artificial intelligent crypto. So we have low caps, mid caps, and high caps. Tau being up here at number, Tau being up here, bit tensile. We already hold that, but I think that could do very well. And we have a ton of other projects. Render, FET, AGIX here, AIOZ, PAL, a lot of people talking about that. We even have LimeWire here. This was something that we actually invested into here on the channel over a year ago now. I still hold it. Hopefully that does very well. Of course, LimeWire for the people like me over 30, you definitely know what that is. People under 30, maybe like 26, have no idea what that is, right? Let me know if you know what that is, because I remember bringing this up on the channel and some people had absolutely no idea what I meant. But look at this. This is the perfect list right here of potential AI cryptos that you guys can go out and research into right now that could generate 100x. So I'm going to build out this portfolio right here on CoinGecko. I'm going to build this out we're going to follow these and we're going to come back to them and see if we can make a very, very nice profit. But with NVIDIA absolutely powering on, I think that what we're going to see when retail come into this market again is excitement from AI. Where are they going to look? Bitcoin, Ethereum, probably some of the bigger caps, and then probably focusing their attention on the AI narrative. I also think that the crypto gaming narrative is going to do very, very well. We have our gaming portfolio here up 171%. Pretty much everything in the green, if not just down 3.77%. But I think that we are on track to do incredibly well in this market. So let me know what you think, what the best AI cryptos are down there in the comment section so I can build this portfolio for us. Check it, smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with this new portfolio. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.